Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we are going to be going over checkboxes. So to get started, let's give an initial state. So a checkbox is either true or false. So what we're going to do is say, is this person a citizen? And we'll initialize this to false. Now, if we come down here to our form, let us display the state. And since this is a Boolean value, we just can't stick in is citizen here because it's not going to show up. So what we can do is test to see if is citizen is true. What we are going to do is display yes. And if it's not true, we'll display no. All right. So let's just come up here and do some destructuring. We're going to pull out is citizen from the state. And now let's go ahead and create our input. So first we're going to create a label for it and we'll get rid of that. And our label is just going to ask, are you a citizen? Next, let's create our input. And our input is going to be of type checkbox. So let's just indent here. We're going to pass in more props. And the two props we need is the checked prop. So this prop is going to make this input a controlled component. So we are just going to pass is citizen. And every controlled component needs an on change handler. So we'll go ahead and pass an on change handler as a prop as well. All right, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and create this on change method. So we'll say on change, we're going to take in the event object. And within here, we're going to say this dot set state. And we're going to say is citizen and we're going to update it. And usually when you're working with inputs, you would say e dot target dot value. But for checkboxes, instead of value, you would just say checked. OK, and we'll see this behavior in a second. So it looks like we have everything hooked up. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's bring up the web page. And it says on change is not defined, line 21. So always when working with classes, don't forget the this keyword. So go ahead and save this. Everything should be working now. All right, so are you a citizen? This is the initial state. We set it to false. If I click this, our on click handler gets invoked and it converts it to yes. Click it again. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. All right. So the next question is what happens if I have multiple checkboxes? So let me just have a break here. We are just going to copy this, paste this here. And this time we'll give a another property here. We'll say is over 21 and we'll initialize this to false. So now let's just go ahead and change everything. So here we'll just say, are you over 21? And let's pull that out. Let's copy this, paste this within the checked and let us make a copy of this H1 and just to display it. So we'll say, are you over 21? And we'll check is over 21. So what I want to point out is how can I update these two checkboxes independently from each other? So the common thing you would do is you would make a bunch of on change handlers, but that's very time consuming and it quite frankly looks ugly. So we're going to try to keep it to one on change handler. So how do I change this on change handler to work for both is citizen and is over 21? Because right now we have it hard coded to is citizen. Well, what you can do is pass a, another prop and this prop is going to be called name and name should match whatever you named these properties. So for is citizen, we're going to pass a name prop down and we're going to set this to is citizen. 
and the same thing for the is over 21. So paste that here. Let's copy this, paste that here. All right. So now from here, what we want to do, let's go to our on change method. So instead of hard coding this, we could use these square brackets. And what we can do is say e dot target dot name. And now this set state method will work for both is citizen and is over 21. So make sure that the name prop matches whatever you call the state. So now let me save this. Let's take a look at the browser. So we have are you citizen? Click that works fine. And you see that we can update both states accordingly. So one last topic before you guys go is you're probably not going to have a form with just two checkboxes. You're probably going to have a form with a bunch of other inputs like text inputs, for example. So this becomes a problem when you have an on change handler written like this. So right here you see E dot target name with these brackets and that's fine. But the problem lies within here E dot target dot checked when I up Update a text field, for example, I set this to e.target.value. So is there a way that I could check that when this on change function is invoked, whether or not the input is a checkbox or not? And the answer is yes. So I could come up here, I could say if e.target.type is equal to checkbox, then what I can do is execute this dot set state like so and if it's not equal to a text box we just set it normally so we'll say e dot target dot name and you'll usually would set it to e dot target dot value okay so this is another way you could go about doing this so you can only have one on change handler and it's going to work for basically every single input. So that is pretty much all I wanted to cover within this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next one.